Today we're going to use Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition on the RTX 3080 from GeForce Now compared to my local PC RTX 3060 to talk about frame rate, latency, and picture quality differences. Let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. Before we jump into the comparison, we're going to start with the settings. So we are running everything here in parity from my RTX 3060 and GeForce Now's RTX 3080 in the cloud. So our settings are at parity, everything the same here. So our picture quality settings will be easier to compare. And we are running that 120 FPS stream from GeForce Now as well. So 1440p 120 from them. So here's a quick look at the systems again, guys. And of course, we are streaming that 120 FPS, 1440 from GeForce Now on our 3080 tier. And we've got my local RTX 3060. This should be a really fun comparison to be able to talk about the latency and frame rate differences and to be able to take a look at that picture quality. So let's get into it. frame rate and input latency. Now these two things pretty much go hand in hand. Now that your frame rate's not the only thing to affect your input latency, especially in cloud, but it is a big deal. As we switch over to GeForce now, you can see we double our frame rate up there in the top left hand corner and we'll go side by side right here and you'll see the same thing. Now what this really does between their adaptive sync technology, having a pretty clean stream and hitting that 120 FPS with a 120 FPS stream is it really does help to rival the experience on my local PC. The RTX 3060 is a fantastic GPU that I love uh, gaming on and making content on, but the RTX 3080 even in the cloud is able to easily double the performance here and you can can feel the difference when you're playing. It's it's uh, it's a still a bit cleaner image when you're playing locally than at this 1440p 120 on GeForce Now, but the input latency is fantastic. And even in combat, I'll have some areas even right here where my aim kind of jumped on me a little bit um, and felt odd here toward the end, but for the most part stays really tight. But as I move over to this other scene where actually I didn't have any of that and my controls were just as tight or very close as my local PC. And it it felt great and that increased frame rate has a lot to do with that when it comes to GeForce now. Picture and stream quality are another big deal, not just FPS and input latency. And a lot of complaints people have with cloud are the artifacting or the pixelation issues, bitrate drops, and things like that. GeForce Now has done a great job in being able to clean up their stream. And even in darker scenes, as we start with the local PC here, of course, it's going to look really clean, even with the fog and the dark. But as we go over to GeForce Now, you will see some of the, um, the blockiness and issues come in. But for the most part, it doesn't really distract you or pull you too far away from believing you're playing locally and they're able to do all this while maintaining an excellent input latency. Same with this scene. Color accuracy is produced really well with GeForce now here. Maybe slightly more faded in some areas, but they've done a great job at bringing that over and making it look very similar to my local PC. Even in motion as we walk through this area, I can't show you how great 120 FPS is here on YouTube at 60, but I didn't have any bitrate drops or pixelation issues as I started to move around either. So I've got some more scenes for you to check out here and then I'll get back with you for final thoughts. So to wrap this up, Metro Exodus the Enhanced Edition is a gorgeous version of the game and it plays excellent on GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier and it rivals my local RTX 3060 experience. And it also runs great on many other devices as well. So definitely, if you haven't checked this game out yet or you're looking to go through it again, GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier is a fantastic way to play. As always guys, thanks a lot for coming to watch and I'll see you in the next one.